right? So kind of giving you a baseline of the two different technologies that we'll be working with today is the Rapsodo, which will be kind of the fun thing to look at, right? You're kind of seeing all of those results, right? You see your exit velocity, you see your spin rate, you see your launch angles, which are big today, right? I know a lot of guys know about launch angle, um, exit direction, then you can kind of see where it goes on the field, all through Rapsodo. On the diamond kinetic side of it, you have 11 or 12 different metrics that pretty much explain your swing, right? So they break it down into four different categories, which is power, quickness, speed, and control. And then there's about three in each category that continue to explain and put a number to, okay, how is the power of the swing? How is the control of the swing? How's the speed and how's the quickness, right? So there, there's a lot of, lot of numbers. To really, really simplify it, we're trying to use all those different things to teach foundational principles, right? It's the same kind of old school rhythm, timing, and balance, right? That, that, those are my three big things. Um, there's a lot of numbers, and, and I'm really good at looking at these numbers. I don't need players to be really, really good at looking at these numbers. I just need them to understand that we use these to help teach foundational things. Um, and, and it does help. It does help. Uh, you know, a lot of people think that really, uh, you know, some guys learn best off of really focusing on their numbers. Some guys focus on really focusing on old school feel, old school, um, you know, try to get an understanding as far as, okay, what is a physical cue I'm doing to try to change my swing, right? Some guys understand better on saying, you know, look, okay, my, my swing was a little bit more vertical. That's what some of the, of the technology can do. Uh, it's different methods of teaching. 